Hello, my name is Randall Hoff. I'm a member of the Faircom technical team, and I'm joined by Sandra Kawamato. Sandra is one of our senior developers specializing on our Edge platform development, and she'll be running the uh, screens and presentation for us today. This slide is showing a quick representation of some of the things you can do with Faircom Edge. For this demo, we will be utilizing the following blocks on this diagram. The Modbus data input logic, MQTT, the extendable plugins, the map transform engine, the store and forward logic. Note though, we won't be using replication in this demo, but we'll show that in another video. The web UI tools, and finally the MQTT forward component for sending MQTT messages externally to the Mosquito MQTT broker. For this demo, we are executing a Modbus RTU simulator, the Faircom Edge product, which will be acting as a hub and MQTT broker by collecting the Modbus data and persisting it. We will then execute a data transform that will take the raw Modbus data and convert it into easy to use JSON, storing that in a second table for querying. And then our last step will be forwarding the JSON formatted Modbus data to an external Mosquito MQTT broker. Let's start by opening a couple of Faircom's web tools. First, you can see in Data Explorer that we are starting without any tables. We will be creating the tables for persisting our Modbus RTU data as we go through the demo. Next, let's open MQ Explorer and notice we will be using the API menu option. Once in this workspace, we'll start, we will select the Edge API and select the desired action. To start, we will be using the Create Input Action and notice it creates a template ready for you to modify for your intended purpose. To save us time, we have already modified the templates and saved them down to disk. Throughout this demo, we will be using the API Explorer tab to load and execute the pre-created actions we've saved. The first script is a create input instruction. We are going to instruct the Faircom server to read data from a Modbus device. We define Modbus RTU information here serial port, baud rate, parity, and also data collection frequency time, which we are setting to five seconds for this demo. Then at property map list, we configure Modbus data we want to read. We are reading three data values, temperature, volume, and status. For each, we define the data address, byte order, and data length. Finally, we define the table name to persist the data. For our purposes, we are naming the table Modbus Table RTU. You can see we are selecting to automatically purge data after 30 days. So to summarize, this procedure creates an input named Modbus RTU that takes Modbus RTU data and stores it in JSON format in the payload field of records in a table named Modbus Table RTU in our Ctree SQL database. Now let's execute it. And note at the bottom, the error code zero means it was executed with success. Let's look at our database now, and we can see the data collected and persisted in the table Modbus table RTU. Also note the source payload is an easy to read and use JSON format. If we want to have temperature, volume, and status as fields in a table to make it easy to query, we can create a transform to do that. This leads us to script number two. This script creates a transform from the JSON data to a second table in our database. We are creating a new table called Modbus Sensor 1 with the three fields temperature, volume, and status. Now let's execute it. And now in script three, we're going to add this transform to Faircom Edge. In script three, we're updating the Modbus RTU transform by adding a new transform called Transform Modbus 1. Going to our database, we can see there is a new table named Modbus Sensor 1 with the three fields storing the data collected from our Modbus simulator. 
As the data is now in separate fields, we can easily perform any query over this data. For example, this select star query produces the data in an easy to read tabular format. Next, let's, with script four, define an MQTT message. For each data point persisted in the table Modbus table RTU, we are now publishing the same data to Modbus topic. Now let's execute this script. Now we can have MQTT client connected to Faircom Edge subscribing to our MQTT messages. In this window, we are showing the data being monitored in the MQTT broker portion of Faircom Edge. And there's a record that uh, message that just popped in. And when you click on it, on the left tab, it shows in easy to read JSON format on the right tab. So what if I want to send the data now to an external MQTT broker? Yes, you guessed it, enter script number five. This script configures an external broker. In this example, we configure a Mosquito MQTT broker running locally on port 1891. So next, with script number six, this next command begins by forwarding all messages from Faircom's Modbus topic to the external broker. I think it's worth mentioning, while we showed setting this up in an interactive manner using our web tools, these commands can be performed programmatically and easily automated. If you have any questions, please send questions to support at faircomp.com or give us a call. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.